cataractcoach.com. Phaco plus trabeculotomy and canaloplasty. So this resident performs her very first case of this MIGS procedure. So the rexus is nice and small, overlaps the optic, so we're sure the eye is not going to pop out of the capsule bag. Very nicely done. Good incision too, by the way. So placing some dispersive viscoelastic on the cornea so we can mate the gonio prism to the cornea. Also important, avoid getting blood on the ocular surface. So the heme there on the side is okay, but you don't want to have that blood mixing with the viscoelastic and causing your view to be compromised. Now we're going to need to tilt the patient's head away from us and then tilt the microscope towards us. But first, let's load up our device. So we're using this Omni device. So this device first needs to be filled with viscoelastic. So there's our cohesive viscoelastic being injected into the port of the Omni device. And this is going to allow us to place little dabs of viscoelastic to perform a canaloplasty. So here's the microscope. You can see the tilt and the patient's head. So the patient's head is tilted away from you and the microscope is tilted towards you. And that's going to make your life a lot easier, a much better view for you. So let me show you that as well. Why don't we show you this position? So there's the gonio prism going down in the left hand. And then the right hand is going to hold the Omni device, the MIGS device. So again, tilting the head, make sure the head's tilted exactly where you want it. And so that's the hand positioning. Look how far the eye is tilted away from the surgeon. And so the Omni device in the right hand, and then the gonio prism is there in the left hand. So let's show you the technique. So the technique is actually very easy to learn. So starting off here, there's the gonio prism going on the eye. And get that lined up and look at that beautiful view of the angle. And if you don't have enough of a view of the angle, tilt the head more away from you. Tilt the scope towards you more. And make sure you're gentle and don't compress that cornea. That's beautiful angle anatomy. That looks great. So once that's done, the device, here's the tip of it, can be gently placed inside the eye. And so you can see you're going to enter and then pass the uh, filament by using the the spin wheel on your right index finger. So this will only go in, the total length is about 180 degrees, so it'll go across and you feed that through. And as you're doing this and then as you retract it, it automatically puts viscoelastic to do the canaloplasty. So it's automatically doing that as you advance it and then retract it. Beautiful, now to do the other side. Now you didn't have to take it off the gonio prism, but now we're going to go the other 180 degrees. And so again, go near prism going down again. If you need more viscoelastic, put it. You need to have a good view. Now going in with the other direction. So same device. And there's still plenty of viscoelastic in the device. If you need to add more, you can, but you should be okay. And as you place this, there should be really no resistance. It should go very smoothly if you're in the correct plane. And see the little the view gets lost a little bit. That's because the AC shallowing and, the, and we're distorting the cornea a little bit. So be careful of that. Now, once you advance this all the way, in this side we're doing something a little bit different. We're not just going to retract it. You're going to actually just pull it out to unroof that area, and you're basically doing a trabeculotomy. And so, taking all that area out, that looks great. And now there is bleeding. Is that okay? Yes, that is okay to have the bleeding. It looks terrible now, but let's clean it up. Let's take out the viscoelastic. And we're going to keep the eye with a little bit of a higher pressure in the post-op period in order to help limit the amount of bleeding there. And we'll use an air bubble also. We're going to leave some air bubble in the eye, leave a little viscoelastic. I learned that from Ike Ahmed, who's, of course, the genius when it comes to anything glaucoma, and we all learn from him. But certainly if you're a cataract surgeon, you need to know how to do MIGS devices. They're very easy to do. So now let's seal up the incision here. Get that nicely sealed up. Good incision, by the way. If you need to put a suture in, I think this one will be fine without a suture because it's good architecture. And then wash out some more of that heme. Now temporarily, we'll get the IOP very high just to help stop some of the heme. So you can have the IOP maybe 30, 40 millimeters of mercury temporarily for not too long. And now at the end here, a little bit of viscoelastic. The IOP is now more normal. And a little bit of an air bubble. And just that much. You don't need a whole lot. And that's going to help prevent you having more bleeding in the post-op period. And so sealing up the incision, get the pressure where you want it. Again, I'd leave the pressure maybe in the 20s. I wouldn't leave the pressure too high. Um, And then here at the end, we're going to see everything looks good. You can check the incisions, check the firmness, make sure the eyes are reasonable firmness, but again, not too much. And let me show you the post-op. In the post-op period, 
Looks great. A little bit of corneal edema from the phaco surgery and all the manipulation. That's okay. That'll resolve. You can see there's a nice looking air bubble up top still. That'll resolve in a few more days. And this patient had a very nice control of pressure. So post-op day one, the pressure was about 19. When the patient came back at post-op week one, the pressure was 11. And everything looked great. The eye was nice and quiet and looked beautiful. So definitely learn how to do these mixed procedures, all of them. You just saw a resident do her very first Omni procedure. What does that mean? That means you can do it too. It's just not that hard. If you put in the effort to learn the steps, watch these videos, study it hard, you can do a great job for your patient. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. CataractCoach.com, check it out.